you're watching Ojai's Fishing. some good fish for you guys to get on camera. I'm going up to Deniloquin in New South Wales and I'm going to be going catching carp and cod and any native species I can catch. Carp would be a bit of fun but no cod's always good. Uh, to start off I'm going to go through all the rods, reels and line and tackle I'm going to be using. Let's take it outside and I'll show you. Here we go, here's the gear. For our first rod this will be the rod I'm using for carp and small fish such as purse and yellow belly. This rod is a 3 to 5 kilo Shimano rod. It's a bait rod. Um, so yeah. For the reel we have a 3000 size Daiwa Edge spooled with 12 pound braid as the reel. This will be comboed with the rod. The second rod is a Shimano Midnight 601. This 48 kilo rod will be using this for Murray Cod and night fishing with more heavy duty baits such as Yabbies. The reel we'll be using with this rod is a Shimano Sienna 4000. This will be spooled with 30 pound braid which should handle some big cods and um, if we get snagged up hopefully we can get them out. The final outfit is a baitcast outfit. This is a Okuma Competition Series 7 foot 10 to 20 pound rod spooled with a unbranded baitcaster that seems to work very well that has a bird nest that I need to fix. So yeah. Cod. Oh, I got a nice little cod. Cool. There you go, guys. A nice Murray cod. Let's release him. We've hooked up again. I only pulled my rod in. I think it's a little carp. Yeah, it's a carp. We're about to find out. And it is a carp. It's a little guy. Whoa, that's huge out there. I'm gonna, you can come join your mate over here. Frankie, that's Frankie going there, mate. Is he going good? Is he good? That's good. Do you want to go him? Sadly, we've got to kill these guys. The next day, I decided to go sight fishing for some carp as I had spotted them the day before whilst riding on my bike. They were feeding on the surface in this little eddy backwater thing. 
behind the current. It was quite shallow and I could see all these monsters on the surface. I brought down a rod and a hook and a bit of bread to see if I could catch one. I came back the next day after not catching anything in this little clip here and managed to catch two large carp. Sadly I didn't get these on camera because I had no storage and forgot to delete the clips because I didn't know which ones I needed. Here are the carp I caught. We hit the road again to our next destination, Maruya, about 8 hours from Janiloquin. We headed out the following morning on the break wall to try and catch some small species like Brim or Taylor. After catching some small fish like Brim and Taylor, we decided to move further down the rock wall and see if we catch them flooded. The locals have been saying they've been catching some monsters there lately, so we'd see if we could try our luck. Willies. This thing is huge. I'm guessing it's a monster flooded. I don't know what else it would be. Here he comes. Oh my gosh. What? Oh. What is this? Oh my. What the? Jeez. I'm not sure what this is, but it's got some decent weight to it. Go in my pocket phone. Oh, I can't I haven't even seen this thing yet. This thing is, must be a massive flathead. Oh, we've got colour. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This thing. What is it? Oh, it's a ray. Far out. Far out. Freaking ray. Oh, I thought I was onto a monster fish there. A monster flatty. A three meter flatty. Oh. Well.